Hey guys, it is day 80, right? Yes, it's MLK day um, and didn't do anything pretty much today. Met up with a friend, spent some time, some one-on-one -on -one time with my girl, my baby girl, and um, went to the gym and had a really good two-hour session. It was like a total body day, but I did a lot of leg exercises because normally Mondays are um, leg day. And I just wanted to, you know, make sure I got the legs in there. Um, so I wanted to make note, I don't think I covered this yesterday because I was, I don't know, I don't know what I was going through yesterday. So I had a lot going on. I was super busy yesterday, although it shouldn't have been. Um, I did get my meal prepping done. <laughs> that's a story all by itself I spend most of my day driving around trying to find ingredients <laughs> because one store two stores even three stores didn't even have everything that I needed I still had to go to the store after I went from the gym to go get a couple other things that I wasn't able to find at the other three grocery stores in order to get everything I needed for my second attempt <laughs> for this Asian theme um, meal prep so I did make three meals for my daughter and she loves them and I made four for me and I had one after my gym workout was I was so hungry and I enjoyed it um, and I think it can be better if I had all of the ingredients because I made it without all of the ingredients because I was just over it yesterday and I just needed meals so that I set myself up for success as much as possible um, we did go to another store because I'm switching over my protein powder supplements. I was, as you can, if you saw in the previous vlogs, I used or gain organics. Um, and I'm switching. I just got some yesterday. I got the vanilla chai of Gardens of Life. Um, and I took that back to the store today because I did not like the flavor at all and I got the regular vanilla and the regular vanilla if you look back on my post-op day and um, post-op one day one you will see that I had um, the gardens of life vanilla that I ordered in Texas and I enjoyed that it was really good so that's what I did yesterday and today um, but I think on Friday is the last time I went to the gym minus today and I want to make note of this so I went a little hard in the gym and I'm always like hyper aware of um, the sorry I'm trying to position myself so I could like show you all what I'm talking about uh, always hyper aware of if I'm feeling any like tightness in my tummy and I went a little harder because I was just feeling really good and when I feel tightness I back off or I stop but I felt a little tension but not enough for me to like stop so I backed off a little bit I reduced my sets and I reduce the weight amount and it seemed to work fine and Saturday after my workout I felt a little bit of soreness in my legs and in my um, chest area but most of my soreness was in my tummy and mainly right here where they sewed all of my muscles back together so much so that down here where I normally can't feel anything oh shoot what the heck <laughs> that's okay I'm gonna probably pick that off because I'm a picker I'll do that later so normally down here okay stay up stay down here see down here where I don't feel anything, I felt tightness down here. Way down here where they tighten my muscles. Okay, can't see anything. 
right here all the way down here so <clears throat> I'm like oh crap and I had plans to do um, yoga on Sunday but because the soreness was so different I've like never felt that before I was freaking out a little bit because I thought I like pop something but I'm like there's no way the stitch is probably still trying to dissolve in there um, and I and I can press if I press a little right here I can feel where they're still sewn so I'm like mm, I don't think they're not separated that's that's not the case um, and when I press here I can feel where they're still together so I'm like okay don't freak out I'm still fine but I feel like I set myself back because since Saturday, even up to just now when I cut on the light to, to say hello, it's day 80, let me update you guys. I have to go back to maybe week two where I was putting my, my right arm underneath the back of my, my right knee to help myself up because it's that tight again like my tummy feels like when they when you can feel like they sewed your muscles together how tight it is it's tight again like it's super tight again not where it's um, difficult for me to breathe but it's it reminds me of that so I wanted to make note of that although I did know I never even did I hate I don't like ab exercises that's not something I ever did never practiced didn't want to um, because all of my workouts in it it encompasses core workouts like your core is gonna get worked out you don't have to do it intentionally I don't do intentional core workouts that's something that's not a part of my regime ever it never was it never will be um, but yeah that's where i'm at right now um it's i can still feel it a little tight it's a little tight to the point where i actually have been swelling a little bit more in those two areas so if if you could see right here because normally it's flat when i'm laying down so you can see it flat it's swollen right here and here again so yeah thankfully today i avoided the exercises that i i had i avoided the exercise on the smith machine that i think triggered all of this so i'm staying away from that like i said um but i did do lunges i did do russian deadlifts i did some upper body work on another machine that focuses on the back and I did cardio and I was I'm still fine um, the soreness hasn't gotten worse it's gotten better um, but my swelling <laughs> yeah, yeah the swelling it's back a little um, not to the point where it's uncomfortable but it's to the point where it's noticeable now because it wasn't noticeable before to me um, but it's noticeable now and yeah that's where i'm at with that i just wanted to update you guys it's day 80 i am feeling great besides what i i keep doing stuff to myself y'all ah, but i'm glad i'm making a mistake so you don't have to gosh dang it i'm not disappointed with myself i'm just like gosh dang anyway um this is what my tummy is looking like guys it's day 80 as you can see like the sides they're still a little bit tender right above my incision that's where most of the swelling is right now um anywhere above above here it's normal but here and to the incision line still swelling um, my back area is still a little swollen 
don't know what to do with that i've been massaging and to the sides it's the same right above the incision i'd say like two to three inches above the incision it's still tender but not really bad it's like maybe a three and a half out of ten um in the front because of the exercising this was going down really good um but still doing good my incisions are looking fantabulous my burns are healing up really well as you can see i picked those the really pink areas i picked those like two days ago um but everything's healing up great um so yeah i just looked up some like natural um nighttime diy uh sorry i'm picking my tummy i'm a picker uh diy like um face stuff because um i'll show you my my like normal routine for my skin as you can see i've turned my skin completely around if you check me on from pre-surgery up until now there's a difference um yeah <laughs> But I also want to step up my skincare game because I noticed since I turned 35, my body is just really different and I have to do something different. You got to adjust, right? So I'm still implementing maybe two or three of the things I've been doing since I was 12 because they still work great. Um, I've implemented about three things over this last four or five years that have been doing great. And over this last year, actually year and a half, I have been trying different things to see what works and what doesn't. And I just got something in Amazon four days, three, three days. What is today? It came on Monday. Today's Monday. So it came last Monday. And like my skin is literally glowing everywhere. And as you can see, there's no acne and I'm trying to get rid of all of this stinking hyperpigmentation as you can see is clearing up really well um, but yeah trying to get my skin doing great and what I'm doing for the hyperpigmentation and for the lust the lustrous lustrousness <laughs> and the, the suppleness and the beauty of my skin I'm gonna do to my tummy to get rid of all the scarring and to reduce the stretch marks on the bottom part of my stomach and to reduce the appearance of my incision as you can see because it's super high um but yeah i'm gonna keep experimenting until i got like a get it down um and the results so far is pretty good um, and I'm going to keep trying, I'm going to try it, uh, continue to try it for the next month. And by that time, my burns should be completely healed so I could start implementing it on that and my incision at the same time. Boom. I said it. I did it. Anyway, I appreciate you guys still hanging in with me, showing me love. You guys made my heart so happy. Thank you for liking and subscribing and commenting and talking to me. I love it. I love it. I love it. My daughter is also so happy. So you guys are making us so happy. You made our day. I appreciate you. And if you're if you think of anyone else who wants a tummy tuck, um, share these videos with them so they can have a good idea what this journey looks like especially if they're a single mom and they don't have any support you can still do this okay all right i will talk to you guys tomorrow it's day 80 yay <laughs>